you guys destroyed the last video. You gave it so many likes and so many comments that I have no choice but to do this Tower of God XCOM edition video series on the channel. <laughs> I'm super excited. I'm so excited, in fact, that I created six more characters, but I'm not going to show them yet until I show you guys what I did to our previous 10 characters. Because as you know, Last video was the proposal video and I showed you 10 designs that I worked on and I made some slight changes because I actually found a bunch of mods. Actually, you guys were the reason I found these mods that added more hairstyle options, more clothing options, mostly for the girls, for the guys that they, they weren't so lucky because the modding community just likes to make women options and the men kind of get left in the dust. So I'm going to show you guys what I did to these characters just really briefly, like 10 seconds per character. Then I'm going to show you the new characters. And and then yeah, this is this is episode one. We're we're doing this. We're we're shooting aliens with Tower of God characters. We have Dorsey, new hairstyle, much better. It's not the pixie cut. It's in the middle between long and short. I also gave her some eyeliner. She looks good. Kunaguerlanias. He now has a suit. Thank God. He's not wearing this like heavy duty, freaking 300 pound suit. He actually is having. Hey, he has his tie. He has his tie. Kun. Perfect. Hots the Swordsman actually has anime hair now. So that's pretty cool. I, I think Hots actually looks a hundred times better before he looked like he was, he aged like 50 years. So no, this is, this is some solid stuff. Yuri actually has a side ponytail thing going on. It's not really a ponytail, but she, she has some hair to the side. It's, it's a little hard to tell when she's moving around, but she looks a million times better. And Bomb. I changed nothing with Bomb. Bomb is impossible to fix. I think I maybe altered his black coloring a little bit. I couldn't fix him. I couldn't do anything. None of the hair worked better. None of the other faces worked any better. I'm sorry, Bomb, Bomb is just gonna look like this. He, he, he's he's stuck. He, he's forever a monster. With Wang Nan, I actually uh, made his hair a little brighter with one of the mods. So now he actually looks like a chick, like Quattro always says. Hua Ryun, I did a couple things. First of all, her hair looks way better. Before it just kind of fell to her shoulders, but now it sort of looks like the ponytail thing that she sometimes has going on. And the biggest thing with her, I swapped her eye patch. I had to download a mod just just for her, because one of you had the audacity to say that her eye patch was on the wrong eye. And I swear, the audacity was just, mm, mm. but you know what? I did it, I fixed it, so you're welcome. <laughs> you guys are the best, it, <laughs> that cracked me up. Okay, so with Lay Row Row, I also didn't change anything, but the only good thing about it now is that he doesn't share the same hair as Hots. They actually have something different, so that's good. With Awa, I actually completely changed her hair. She looks a million times better. It didn't really look like Awa before, but now I gave her some eyeliner. She has her hair up in a ponytail. There's actually a scene from season three uh, where, where she's like uh, about to be uh, become unconscious. This looks exactly like that. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with her design here. I'm so excited to use her. And as you can see, I was pulling mods from a variety of different places to get the perfect hairstyles for these characters. The only character that remains completely 100% unchanged is Evan Kell, because, oh my gosh, she's perfect. Someone did fan art of Evan Kell as a cowboy. I love you. That was amazing. Evan Kell, no. Evan Kell, never changing. Never changing. So that means we have six new characters that I'm going to spend some time describing to you all before we jump into the fray. First up, by popular demand, probably the most demanded character, Lopobia Elaine, aka Kaiser. Oh my gosh, she looks so good. The hair comes down in the back, but also comes down in the front a little bit. It's like this dark green sort of coloring, and she has her blue outfit from the end of season two and start of season three. Elaine, looking solid. We actually have Yama. Now, <laughs> he could have looked better, but I was actually surprised at how good I actually made him look. And the best part, the, I would not have done Yama, but I actually found a mod that gave him cat ears. And I know he's not a cat, but it still looks pretty good. And I actually, <laughs> his hair should be a million times longer, but I, I actually think this looks pretty good. We've got Shibisu. 
who looks so plain and so basic and so normal that it's just 100% perfect. So you may be wondering why I gave him a yellow gun, and it's because his observers, they're like purple and yellow combined, so I thought it only fitting that we give him a purple tracksuit sort of outfit and then have the yellow gun. I think, mm, solid stuff. Something weird just happened. I had to completely change this character's face, but it still looks good. We have, by popular demand, Yurik Mazzino, looking handsome. I gotta say, out of all the guys that we've created in this generator, he actually looks pretty good. And considering it's Yurik, I know I had to make him look pretty decent, otherwise uh, you guys would kill me. Uh, he's got the backwards cap, that's kind of all you need. And he has this light orange gun here because there's a few scenes where we see the, um, the white tree, or the winged tree symbol on his jacket, and it's sort of this orangish color. So I thought, okay, let's make that combination again with Yurik here. Oh, and of course, how could you forget his earrings? I couldn't change the earring color. I would have made it like a silvery color, but you know, earrings, earrings is better than no earrings. Yeah, and then we have someone that I'm actually like super proud of, even though it took almost no effort, Karaka. <laughs> oh my god. So Karaka actually looks pretty decent. He's just got the helmet and the armor, and I've, you know, I mean, you, you can see his neck a little bit here, but just, just don't, don't mention that part. And then we have, I think this, okay, so I said Kaiser or Elaine was actually, was the most requested character, but I actually think this was the most requested character, which kind of threw me off. Rachel. Rachel's in this game. I can already see us sacrificing her or her being like our best unit. It's gonna be one of those two. She's either gonna be the one that we kill right away or the one that's just like soloing all the aliens. Oh my gosh. I tried to give her like a cowl or like a hood like she always wears, but it got rid of her hair when I did that. And I thought it better to keep her uh, beautiful beautiful hair. So that is everybody. Our team of 16 characters is about to enter the fray. And I also, I remembered that you actually can't create uh, from scratch more characters when you join the game or when you start a game. So if we do end up needing more characters because everybody dies, we're going to have to recruit just random people. And we're just going to say that they're, uh, extra Tower of God characters. You know, they're like regulars who we haven't met yet. Yeah, let, let's say that. Okay, we are doing this. I, oh, this is gonna go so bad. New game, veteran. We're, we don't need the beginner stuff. I'll sort of explain the game as I go, but it's pretty straightforward. Iron Man mode. This means we can't go back. We cannot save it, it saves automatically. We, we can't go back to a previous save file. Like, if someone dies, they're gone. They're gone. Let's do it. I might skip around this cutscene, but here we go. Dude, the tower is a much different place. Look at this. Can you guys believe this is the 77th floor? Man, it looks so different. This game is so good. Oh, it's so fun. Oh, but I'm so bad. I'm so bad at it. I don't even think I've seen this all the way through. Hmm. Basically, aliens have taken over the Earth, and now there's a resistance who's trying to take it back. And who do you think it is? <laughs> Our ragtag group of regulars and rankers. Humanity and the elders. So that's actually our commander, who, when he's talking to us, I'm gonna pretend it's like, uh, um, uh, frickin', I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna pretend that it's, uh, Popidao Gustang, ordering us around, telling us what to do. Okay, that's pretty hype. Popidao Gustang, he's kicking butt. He also grew a, a goatee, or like some, some facial hair. Oh, we're going in, boys. Oh, we're crashing this party. We're go- We're serious. That we're ready to infiltrate the city centers and strike at their heart. To that effect, we're moving- We had a, a one out of four chance to get Rachel on our team. Move to lock down the area and eliminate any security forces. <laughs> I can't believe we actually got Rachel. I, okay, so we have- Okay, we have Yurik Mizino. Rachel, these are our initial four soldiers, but you all, you can recruit them all later on, but these are the first four that you get to use. We got Leiro Ro, Rachel, Yurik Mizino, and Bomb. 
I'm not ready. I'm not ready, dude. Frick this. <laughs> we got like all the- oh my gosh. We got bomb right away. One of you guys was saying hopefully you don't get bomb right away because we could make him a psionic class, which you get later on. Oh my gosh. All right, you staying. You got it. Is Rachel our leader? Why is it making me move her first? Okay, okay. So basically, uh, we gotta plant the charge over here. So the mission objectives are here at the top left. We have to kill all the aliens that are here, which if I remember correctly are two or three groups and on this first initial stage. And then we have to plant the X4 charges. Roger that. You'll be able to understand the game as we go on, but uh, oh my gosh, I can't make any mistakes here. So Rachel, okay, she's gonna move into position there. Lay row row, let's just move up a little. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, they didn't see us. So the human, like the regular civilians of the world are used to the aliens being in control. So they're not on our side. Like we're, we're acting on our own. Freaking Yurik, dude. Okay. Understood, moving out. I'm so scared. I don't want anyone to die. Okay. Okay, we're moving into position. And then we have bomb. Okay, bomb. Um... I think bomb will be safe over here. Okay, nothing yet. Our target's right here though, so we're just gonna inch our way forward. Let's go with Rachel first, because, you know, if she gets caught, I don't think many of you will complain. Okay. First encounter! When you first start the game, um, the grenades are, like, super strong, so we're gonna be making use of our, our grenades for sure against this first wave. I think we're safe going up against the car here. This isn't scanning us yet. We're just gonna go into Overwatch, which means if they move... We'll shoot them. Only if we're revealed. It's just like a safety measure. Yurik's gonna move into position. Let's go here. Okay. I'm so scared. Okay, we're gonna move into position here. I always like to play this game very, very, very safe. So we're just gonna... Oh my gosh, are Bomb and Rachel actually gonna be working together? I just realized that! They're on the same freaking team. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, they're getting closer. This is actually good for us. I'm not worried about this group. The group. There's another group that has like a, a captain with them. That group is pretty scary. Okay, so Rachel can't move right now. Otherwise, they're gonna see her. Leiro Ro can't move. Okay, Yurik's the only one who can move. As always, Yurik is, is the beast. I think that means he's going to be the one to engage. So we get some we got some pretty good shots here. I'm going to put bomb on Overwatch. I'm going to put Rachel on Overwatch. And I'm going to have Yurik engage. Maybe I should have him move first. Whoa, oh, my mouse is going crazy. There we go. Okay, I think that's I think that's better. Is it? Yeah, I think it is. Let's have Yurik Shoot, man. I don't know about this. Oh, man. Because his frag only hits one of them. Okay, so we might have to have Leiro Row engage. What a weird team that we have going on here. Yes, okay, so he can hit all three. So, Yurik. Overwatch, buddy. Leiro Row. Engage. This is so bad. Someone's gonna die. Okay. Okay. We're blowing up the aliens. Nice. Oh. Oh, it killed all of them. He earned, he earned a promotion there. I think everybody who succeeds on this mission earns a promotion, which means we can start putting them into their classes. But the aliens now know that we're here. I didn't realize we killed them that soon with the grenades. That's crazy. I think if you're playing on a harder difficulty, yeah, they do three to four damage. I did not even realize that. Okay, Overwatch. Row, row moves into position. This is the weirdest series I've ever done. Okay. We want to wait for them to come to us in some way, because then that means we can get the jump on them. Okay, get into position. 
It's also a little dangerous to hide behind vehicles if they're gonna be firing at you because they can explode if they get hit with grenades and stuff, but I'm gonna take a chance here. <laughs> Rachel is our uh, tank. We're sending her forward first. I kind of want Yurik to take that position, so I'm just gonna move Rachel to here. I'm trusting you here. You talk of trust. Oh, there they are. Okay, so they're gonna see us and we're gonna have to engage them. I think once we kill this group, this first mission is done though. Okay, we still have our turn. Ra Rachel still gets to shoot if she wants to. She still has a grenade. Oh no, Rachel, you useless. Mm. Okay, okay. I'm gonna put Rachel here. This puts her in a really good defensive position with full cover. It's gonna be really hard for them to hurt her there. Ro already used his grenade. He's, he's only in a halfway decent cover spot, but I'm gonna have him give this a shot. Come on. Yes, okay, he hit. So that guy's almost dead. He only has one health left. We only had a 46% chance to hit that. My buddy Ro, dude. Okay. What's Bomb doing? Can Bomb finish him off? Oh my gosh, it'd be so good if he could. I don't think he's gonna be able to. Oh, he might be able to. The grenade does not reach. Bomb! He missed. Oh my gosh, he missed. In what world is Leiro Ro like? Oh, well, I guess Ro is a ranker. Ah, oh, frick, man. I don't wanna, see, here's the thing. If I get, if I put Yurik here and then shoot, he's gonna possibly die, even if he does kill that guy. I'm just gonna put him in a defensive position. That's all I can do. We just have to pray that they don't hit someone. Ro is in the worst position. Okay. Being marked means they have a higher chance to hit you. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. He got hit over his <laughs> shoot. Drink this. Oh my gosh, if Le Ro Ro dies on the first mission. No way. He, oh my gosh. He dodged it. Okay, okay, he dodged it. I think he's fine. Unless the other guy? He's fine. He's fine. Okay. He's fine. Oh my gosh. That freaked me out. You guys would never have let me live that down. Holy. Oh, okay. Why is there... Wow, that was an explosion. Okay. So this turn, we have to kill all three of these guys. Which I think we can do. Rachel, make yourself useful, or I swear. So like, you might as well use up your grenades because they get replenished every mission, and it's a, it's a guaranteed hit. There's no like, chance that you'll hit. Oh my gosh, okay. Promotion earned, aren't you guys happy? Gosh, why, is, why did I make Rachel? Okay. So Ro is the only person who doesn't have his grenade, but let's move, okay. Oh, what can we do here? I think if he moves here, he'll be able to hit them with a grenade. I think. Are you kidding me? It, it, they, they get highlighted if it's gonna hit. Oh my gosh, okay. This actually got, became bad. Yurik Mazzino, you're an irregular. You're top, you're the fourth best. Oh my gosh, Yurik. I'm not happy with Yurik right now. Crap, dude. Oh my gosh, this is bad. Okay. What? Oh no. Alright, Bomb, get into position. Bomb can take a hit if he needs to, okay? Just out of range. Alright, well at least, okay, Bomb can kill this guy. Dang, I think I gotta just retreat with Le Ro Ro for now. This is bad. I, just getting wounded. So Leiro Ro is gonna be fine, but he's gonna be wounded into the next mission. Unless I have him run up and just kill him. Okay, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing that. You just go hide, buddy. You just go take a chill pill because unless you get the enemy gets a critical, there's no way they're gonna kill any of the other three units. See, okay, the car exploded. What did I say? Jeez. Okay, so he's on Overwatch, which means if we um, move out of position, he's gonna fire at us. 
we basically have no choice but to just try and hit him here. Okay, Rachel missed. No surprise there. It's Rachel. Okay, okay, okay. Ro, you just hunker down. Hunkering down just means you have more of a chance to dodge and you get some more defense. I'm gonna have Yurik move up here. So once we kill these guys, we can plant the charge. Like that's not gonna be a problem. We don't have a time limit here. Oh wait, he has a grenade still. My boy, I'm sorry I ever doubted you, Yurik. I forgot he still had a grenade. Oh, we just won. Okay, cool. First mission success. <laughs> I mean, Leiro Ro did almost die, <laughs> but it was still a success. All right, bomb. It's only fitting that bomb plants the charges. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, bomb, plant, charge. Oh my gosh, that was stressful, dude. That was so stressful. So we also, okay, so these are our first four units, but there are four more characters that we also have. Um, when you go back. It's just that they weren't in this first mission, and then the other eight will be able to recruit as we progress through the game. Okay, so excellent. That was excellent, apparently. Okay, there was a soldier who was wounded. Le Ro Ro, my boy, such a brave man. So here we can see Re Le Ro Ro did the most damage, Rachel made the most attacks, Ro was the most under fire, and then Bomb moved the farthest. So, interesting stats here. We had a terrible shot percentage. Um, basically just meaning how many, like, times we shot and then taking that into consideration with how much we missed. I am not exactly proud of how that went down, and I apologize um, to anybody who was, like, yelling at me to make a different decision. Like I said, I'm not the best at this game, but at least no one died. No one died yet. That's good. Okay, so we're landing at base, and I also downloaded a mod which allowed me to choose the classes that the characters advance into. So I'm not going to promote them yet. We're going to go to the, uh, I think the armory it said, and we'll be able to choose what they promote into. Oh my gosh, Ro is going to be wounded for 19 days. That sucks. Alright, we got some loot there. Okay, so because he was wounded, <laughs> this is funny to imagine, Lay Ro Ro is now scared he's a little bit frightened basically if he gets shot at again he might freak out and start like running away <laughs> that's Commander really funny all right so we're gonna go to the research lab see what's going on here impressive isn't it ah whatever okay so basically this guy we, it allow, he allows us to do some research so you can choose what you want to research and then it takes a certain amount of days i always choose the weapons first so we'll be able to increase our uh weapon capabilities let's go to the armory Okay, so here we go. We'll be able to choose what they promote into. I think this is what it's talking about. Yes, okay. Commander's choice. So Bomb is ready to promote. And I know I mentioned earlier, someone wanted me to promote him into the psionic class, but you don't unlock that until later. So out of all these options, we have the Grenadier. The Grenadier is basically the one who shoots out grenades. They're kind of tanky, but they're they're all about shooting out grenades and causing explosions. Um, they also they're also good at taking out armor, like from robots. The Ranger is all about being stealthy. They have a shotgun, so they're good at close combat. And then they also have a sword. So yeah, that's pretty cool. The Sharpshooter is all about sitting back and just like sniping people and doing a lot of damage. And the Specialist is typically either a medic or somebody who hacks into computers and stuff. Out of all these options, I think I want to make Bomb a sharpshooter. And you may be like, but Bomb, you know, he's close combat. And that's true, but Bomb is also really good at Shinsu. He's really good at, like, just doing a lot of damage. And I think that fits the sharpshooter class. So, Bomb, welcome to the sharpshooter class. There we go! Just like it sounds, our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the pistol. Occasion. Yeah, that's right. Bomb squad. Okay, so he is now a squatty instead of a rookie. So he he gained the ability squad sight. You can target enemies within squad mates sight. So basically, he has a longer. Uh, shooting distance. Although the longer the distance, the the less chance he has to hit. Oh my gosh! All right, let's do Leiro Ro next because I know what I want to make him. It only makes sense to make Leiro Ro a specialist. 
I'm not sure if he's gonna be a medic or a hacker, but he uses lighthouses. Like, I feel like it only makes sense. That fits. I can see this also fitting the scout position, but this does fit Leo Roro. And then now he's able to uh, provide a defensive boost to allies. That's pretty decent. So Yurik Mizino, I feel like it's fitting to make him a grenadier. They're kind of bulky characters and they're good at just like damaging a ton of units at once. Serving as our demolitions experts, the grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. Heck yeah, dude. Yurik Mizino, he's gonna be my boy. He's gonna be like, he's gonna be the best one on the squad. Although he wasn't great. He was only great at the end there. It basically, yeah, he can launch grenades, though. So that's that's pretty cool. And that means that Rachel is... <sighs> I think it makes sense for her to be a specialist, too, because she also uses lighthouses. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Aid protocol. Let's go. So, actually, we have four more units. I actually... I briefly saw it, so... <gasps> th All right. These extra four units are really cool. We got HOTS. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. We have HOTS. In Dorsey, Yama, and Karaka. I'm never gonna get used to these designs. Okay, cool. So those four haven't yet upgraded. Let's go to the engineering room. But they're gonna be able to upgrade if, like, if they succeed on the next mission. All right, so we can go here to build like stuff. I, like I said, I'm not gonna really go into detail explaining this game, but basically, uh, you you kill an aliens, yet you you get to build stuff. Once you have engineers, you can start like clearing out this room, these rooms and stuff. Um, but we can't do it yet. We gotta take on our next mission. So let's do that. Commander. Pomodoku Stag! <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. Alright, so we have a mission there that will gain us a scientist. I think we might as well take it. At the beginning of the game, you don't have that many missions, so I think it's good to do as much as you can. An extra scientist will help speed up our research, which will allow us to get better armor and better weapons and stuff. These findings will likely prove oh, okay, so we got the better, we can we can do better weapons and stuff. And let's do this. I, I don't really know what a lot of this stuff does, but I think that'll help us get like better items or better armor into the future. Boom, we have a scientist, all right. Dr. Vasily Ivanov. My boy, dude. Okay, so research is gonna go faster. This game gets so stressful. Oh, oh, supplies. Okay, we're doing that right the frick now. Supplies are very uh, scarce in this game and very useful. Oh, we're in the States, I didn't realize that. So it's random where you start in the game, but we're starting in the States, it looks like. A number of interesting discoveries, Commander. All right, yes, the nanoscale vest. Okay, so we can equip that or we can buy that now. Let's research that, go back here. I live right here in the wonderful state of Michigan. This weird little, okay. We already have our first guerrilla ops. Okay, so it's an easy mission. And if we succeed, we'll get a new engineer. Let's do it. I'm so freaking scared, man. These missions are scary. Okay. So I'm thinking we take two veterans and two new characters to sort of um, train them up. You want you don't want to just keep using the same four because you basically want to get as many experienced soldiers as possible. Okay, so I definitely think we should start using Endorsey just because she's a cool character. Um, Rachel can just go. Uh, <laughs> let's bring along. Let's bring along Yama. This is a pretty cool team. We got Yama, Bomb, Endorsey, and Yurik. Okay, so because Yurik is a grenadier, he also has two grenades, which is pretty cool. But um, aside from that, we don't have any other items at the moment, so let's just jump into it. I might regret not bringing Rachel, which I never thought I'd say, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Imagine these four characters like chilling in an airplane, just like waiting to be dropped off and kill some enemies. It's really funny to me. Okay, so our mission objective is to neutralize all the enemies and then we have to recover something from the enemy, um, from, their, from one of their vehicles. I'm assuming that this one is going to be timed. So one of the reasons that the last mission was easier compared to the others was because I could take all the time I wanted to like stay defensive. This one, I think we're actually gonna have to be like offensive, which is scary. Okay. Okay. This is freaky. All right. So Yama, ya Yama, and Endorsey are still rookies, 
So they're basically, um, they don't have anything special yet. I say we move forward. And we are under stealth mode though. So the enemy doesn't know we're here yet. But see, we only have eight turns to recover this thing. Solid copy. My girl and Dorsey. Oh my gosh, they could already introduce... There's an enemy in this game that's like really ugly and all about like controlling your mind. They're the... Shoot, they... How did they spot us? Are you kidding me? He was high... Oh my gosh, that's such BS. Oh, I'm mad. We were hiding. Oh crap, this is so bad. Okay, okay, um... Uh, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Okay. I think Bomb... Okay, Bomb at least is staying back here. Ooh, he has a pretty good shot. Come on, Bomb. My boy. Frick, he missed. Oh, it would have been a critical hit, too. Oh, that sucks. That's so bad. All right, all right, all right. We just have to stay alive. Yeah, he's not going to hit. He hit. He's hiding behind full cover. Oh no, Yama is go- oh shoot, okay. He's on Overwatch. Yama actually almost died to that. Holy frick. Okay, 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 um... And that guy's on Overwatch. Which means, again, if we move... Shoot, this sucks. Okay, okay. I think Bomb needs to make use of his grenade. Which extends to here. If he goes here, he might be- Oh shoot, he was on Overwatch, no! I suck, I suck, I suck! I'm not used to this guy, this is a lot of pressure, okay? Can he at least hit? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, this this is a disaster. This is, this is a disaster. Oh no, we're, we're gonna lose this. We're gonna lose this run. This isn't gonna be successful. Oh, frick. Okay, 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 okay. I, I mean... I don't know what to do. Holy crap. Okay, so we could have Endorsey take out this guy. Let's just do this. I could have done that and then moved bomb. Oh my gosh. Earned her promotion. And Dorsey, living up to your character. And then we could actually have Yurik move here and then take the guy by surprise. This is only bad if there's more enemies over here. Okay, this is pretty good. Yes! Oh my gosh, Yurik Mizino. My boy. Okay, okay, okay. We're in a decent position now. It's not good. We're not in a good position, but this is... It, it, it could be worse. Alright. Freaking Yama just needs to hide. Yama just needs to stay way back. Oh my gosh. Bomb just slowly creep up. Oh, this is so bad. Just us getting spotted that early was a disaster. Okay. Yurik is our, he's our tank right now. Let's have him stay in the front and reload. We only have six turns to recover that. Ready to engage. Okay, Yama. Freaking Yama. I think Yama should just stay inside this truck. If it explodes, I'll be sad, but let's have, let's just have him chill here on Overwatch. I feel like in Dorsey, if, if Yurik hasn't spotted any aliens, then she won't either. So let's have her stay on Overwatch. And I think, whoa, whoa, my mouse. And Bomb, stay on Overwatch as well. Okay, nothing. Yurik's our tank. Let's have him creep up. We have to move, otherwise we're going to lose this mission. Wait. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. Oh my gosh, we're actually really close. Overwatch. I gotta use all our units if we have any hope of succeeding here. Just don't spot them. Okay. I want them to spot us because we'll have the advantage. 
because we'll be able to like act first. Let's have... Okay, we need Bomb to be in position over here because he can snipe them from here. And then Yama will be somewhat safe here. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Aliens? Aliens? There they are! Okay, okay, okay! Oh, and Dorsey, my girl, please? <laughs> please focus! That was so bad! Okay, okay. These freaking things can control your mind. Yurik, my boy? Oh, he missed two. Are you kidding me? That's... Y Yama from the grave. The stop sign's blocking it. All three of them missed. All three of them missed. Okay, okay, okay. I think it's okay because we get to go first. We get to go first. This is why I wanted them to find us. Because we get to jump on them. So this is why you want grenadiers, boys. This right here. Is Yurik in a good position? Okay. Get him. Not only does it do damage, guaranteed, but it blows their cover. So him shooting this grenade means that this guy has nothing to hide behind now. Except maybe half a stump. Which is like something, I guess. Oh my gosh, this thing needs to die right now. 35%, that sucks. <laughs> okay. I think... I think we need Bomb to move up and, to th and just throw a grenade. This other guy is actually a problem too, though. In Dorsey, hmm. I feel like I might need Yama to take out that guy. But I don't know if that's possible. Shoot. That may have been a preemptive move with Yurik, but... Oh, and that thing might explode. We can take out this guy. Okay, okay, okay. We can take out this guy. Guaranteed. Because Yama can throw a grenade at him, and Bomb can throw a grenade at him, and that will kill him. So let's have okay. Yama move here. You can hit with this, right, buddy? Yeah, okay. So Yama's gonna frag. And then Bomb. See, grenades are, like, the best. Okay, so now his cover's completely gone. This actually means that... Bomb can just easily pick him off. Ooh, but it's only 75%. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Let's have him move forward a little bit. What's his chance now with the pistol? 94%. I say we take it. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is freaking me out. So he dropped some loot that we can pick up. And now Endorsey will be able to finish this guy off. I don't think there are any more enemies after this. <gasps> I thought she had a grenade. I legitimately thought she had a grenade. <sighs> okay. Okay. Overwatch. So if he moves, see, okay, if she had stood next to it, she would have she would have died, possibly. Please, he's right there. Come on. Yes! Okay. That was actually really close, because if she had missed, he could have killed Yama. Is that it? Yes! Okay, wait. Oh, I thought he was telling us there are no more enemies. Oh! <gasps> there are more enemies. We still have one more grenade from Yurik, but there are more enemies. So, Endorsey's the closest. Let's just have her... do it. Let's have her go here. Let's have her open the door. Yeah, just, you know, open the door. And, uh... And take cover back here. Just in case more aliens show up, she's at least hiding behind this. Okay. 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 Oh, I reloaded on accident. Man, I suck. Yama, this is some pretty good cover. And we're only timed as far as like this thing goes, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rush forward right now. Okay, and Dorsey can do it. Hack chest. I'll see what I can do. Okay. I'm so stressed out. Um, so this no matter what, we're gonna do this, but then you have a small chance to do one of these two things. 
So no matter what, we're disarming it, but there was a chance that we could have also gained a bonus, um, a bonus thing. All right, we did it. We got the footage. Dude, Endorsey is the MVP this episode. Let's have her... Oh, okay, so we're, he we're hearing ra uh, alien activity from this direction. Let's have Yama just stay put. Let's have Yurik move forward and reload. He's not going to hit an overwatch from here, so let's just have him at full, full ammo. Oh my gosh, our team has but has looked better that's for sure um bomb moving here should be safe i'd rather him be in full cover than just half cover again i want the aliens to come to us oh okay there they are another one of those okay 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 we should be able to do this actually this should be fine because again they found us which means we get the jump on them I think, I don't think anyone's gonna die. Okay, so we didn't get that, but whatever, who cares. So, I want Yurik to get into full cover. It's almost full cover. It's full cover on that side. And then launch, okay, use one of our only frags to, to get rid of most of his cover. And then that'll give us an opportunity to attack him. I'm sorry if I'm not making it being more entertaining, but I'm just freaked out. I can't lose this. All right, all right. Our our team is doing decent. <gasps> Bomb still has a grenade. <gasps> oh, he's so done. How does Bomb still have a grenade? I thought he used, oh, he used a pistol earlier instead. So it might be better to just shoot him here, but it's only a 69% chance. But the thing is, a grenade might not kill. Can Endorsey kill this guy? It's not guaranteed. Bomb is a 65%. Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Okay. I think... Let's just try killing this guy first, and then from there, I'll see what I do. Let's have Yama try to shoot this guy. It's only a 50% chance. Yama, you're a slayer. You're a high ranker, buddy. Yes, okay. Now, we won no matter what. We won no matter what, because Bomb's gonna grenade and Endorsey's gonna run up. Okay. It's gonna finish off his cover. So I'm pretty sure that we won. Wait. Okay, yeah, it should, it should. If it does, if this doesn't blow up the tree trunk, I'm gonna be really mad. Are you kidding me? <gasps> oh no. How did it not, it, it finished it off last time. Okay. There's still a chance that we finish it off here. Oh, I think we're okay. 78%. Come on, Dorsey. My girl. Oh my gosh. We did it. Oh, we did it. <laughs> Holy crap. I've never been this stressed out in a playthrough before. So Bomb and Yama did get injured, but you know what? It's okay. <laughs> they took one for the team. So that was a much better shot percentage that round. So Yurik, I feel like Yurik and Endorsey, they were amazing that game. They carried us so hard. Um, especially Endorsey at the end there. That was so good. Bomb tried his best. Um, but still, I, I cannot believe I, I made him run while that guy was on Overwatch. That was really stupid. But overall, a successful first episode, I would say. It could have been worse. You know, it could have gone a lot worse, all things considered. Um, no one died, although we did have a lot of people get injured. I think when we come back next episode, which I'm going to record, I think, right after this, I'm going to recruit a lot more people. And that way we just have more uh, of our friends on backup, just in case some of us die. And we can start training them in advance, because oh my gosh. Oh, look at these heroes. What a bunch of badasses. <laughs> these two are so wounded. Okay, and then Yama and Endorsey got promotions. Not bad. Got a bunch of loot. Okay, so 
there are these people who are basically this guy is sort of like represents the council or whatever and he's telling us like he's the one that sends us on those missions so we got an engineer which is so good it means we can start clearing out those rooms <laughs> oh okay so yama is shaken but bomb wasn't <laughs> i don't know what it is with all these rankers getting shaken okay so let's give them promotions i think that in dorsey i could see her kind of as a ranger but i'm feeling sharpshooter a little bit with her Although she did really good up close and personal that round. Let's make her a ranger. I don't know, I'm feeling the ranger with her. And Dorsey is kind of awesome. Unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. And Dorsey, I, I always say that Ewa is best girl, but right now you are taking the lead. And now she can use a sword, which is really good for uh, up close and personal. And for Yama, I could see him being a grenadier. But I feel, because he, he has like tons of big attacks that do a lot of stuff. Let's do it. Let's make him a grenadier. I feel like that makes sense. Okay, so we still have uh, Hots and Karaka on backup. And then, like I said, next episode, I'm going to try to recruit some more people so we can make some more progress. But holy cow, that was quite the uh, quite the episode. But let me know what you guys think. Um, if you want me to try anything different or you have any advice for me, just let me know. This is my first time doing this sort of like commentary on a playthrough in a quite a long time so i'm trying my best here but this is basically just us having fun you know and just us doing something tower of god related so uh, let me know how you're liking the series what you want to see differently and stay tuned for next episode take care guys and then also by popular demand yurik mazino what the heck happened to his face hold on what on earth what happened to his beautiful face? What? I swear that wasn't there before. That doesn't look bad. That looks good.